Phil Schaap with you. With me is Eddie Durham, an amazing gentleman of jazz, pioneer of the electric guitar, stellar performer in many big band sections on trombone, the arranging and compositional pen of southwestern jazz, and an all-around good guy. Eddie brings some of that brings some of that western thing, which later became identified with Kansas City, becomes the you know the name for that. We refer to it as Kansas City, but, but that is something that Eddie brought, which hadn't been there before. Stellar performer, John Trombone. Pioneering electric guitarist. He is also one of the ancestors of the electric guitar, playing amplified before electric, acoustically amplified, and then being really the very first jazz player to record on an electric guitar composer of the original Count Basie Orchestra. Major creator of blues themes, such as Good Morning Blues and Sent For You Yesterday and Here You Come Today. Even wrote a couple of the ballad hits of the swing era, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire, Just Want to Light a Flame in Your Heart. He wrote so much, he was a masterful genius of the arrangers who gave the flavor of musical color and style to the Jimmy Lunsford Orchestra in the swing era. It was known as the Harlem Express. It was a great show band as well as a musically fascinating band. What you see in that Lunsford short, where they're doing that thing where they all stand up, that was undoubtedly choreographed by Eddie Durham because that's all his trademark. He had all kinds of moves with the trombone, uh, with the slide that he used to do. He arranged in the move for Glenn Miller. I mean, this guy is the guy. the goods. It's a pity that Eddie, you know, maybe he's up there and uh, he's seeing it, but I think that the recognition of Eddie Durham by San Marcos, and that was of course started by the university, is unique. I don't know of any yeah. other place that honors a jazz musician like you've done. You know, Dan is the world's most respected and beloved and accomplished jazz expert. That's right. And he knew, he was born in 1929, and I know you guys know all about Dan. But the bottom line is, you know, he knew Louis Armstrong, he knew Ornette Coleman, he knew Coleman Hawkins, he knew Eddie Durham. He knew, so the fact that he's uh, been part of this program for so long, and has kind of become a beloved guy on campus and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, it's unique. You know, the other thing that is very, every year the audience gets bigger and bigger. So the importance of, uh, of, of what you're doing here yeah. in San Marcos at Texas State University, I'm here to tell you that this is such a special thing mm -hmm. and uh, that needs to be nurtured. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I just hope that uh, the powers that be and the people that could really realize uh, how special it is. Mm -hmm. 